Hi again everyone. In this simple video we're going to continue our look at infinite series and we're going to discuss the limit form of the comparison test and just a simple version of the test. Okay so here's our main theorem or the main idea and consider an infinite series sigma a n where each of the a n's are positive. If we can construct a new series, sigma b n, with each b n positive, such that the limit of this ratio is a positive finite value, then both series either converge or both series diverge. In other words, whatever this new constructed series does, the original series will also do the same. Now, the limit form of the comparison test is, is very useful. In particular, you don't need to worry about fiddling around with inequalities like you do with the regular form of the comparison test. So that's, th th that's one of the advantages of the limit form of the comparison test. But let's have a look at a specific example. Consider this series here. Discuss the convergence or divergence of that series. Okay, so... The big question here is, if we're going to construct this new series, how, how do we choose it? Well, here you can, you can see that the largest power in the denominator is power one half. The largest power in the top is power zero, n to the power zero. Now, we can use, make a choice of our new series by, by looking at the difference between those powers. So. I'm going to choose bn to be 1 on root n to form our new series. Okay, so I, I didn't need to really choose 1 on root n there. I could have chosen other things like 1 on root 6n. But the important thing here is the power. Okay. All right, now the next thing we have to do is test the limit of this ratio. So, all right, so our a sub n is this, our b sub n is this. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal and I'm going to come up with the following. Okay, so let's put this together and see if we can take our limit. Alright, so I'm going to put everything under the one square root sign. And then I can even take it a bit further by dividing top and bottom inside the square root sign by n. Okay, so now I can, I'm in a position to take my limit here. This is obviously going to go to zero. And I'm going to get one on root six. So now let's, let's look back and see what we're aiming for here. We're aiming for the limit to be a positive finite value. If we look down, we say yes, this is positive and finite. So, either our two series converge or they both diverge. So let's have a look back now at our series sigma bn. Does this converge or does this diverge? And whatever it does, the limit form of the comparison test tells us that the original series must also do the same. Well, this is a p-series with power equal to one half and it is divergent because the power is less than or equal to 1. So we note that this is a 
divergent uh, P series with P equal to one half, which is less than or equal to one. So thus, our new constructed series is divergent. So by the limit form of the comparison test, our original series must also be divergent. Our original series must also diverge. Okay, so we've named our tests, we've made our conclusion, and one thing to remember here is that try to choose your new series to be some sort of power series. That's the easiest choice. It won't always work, but um, in many cases it will. The big advantage of the limit form of the comparison test is that you don't need to fiddle around with inequalities like you do with the regular comparison test. Um, it's very powerful and um, uh, enjoy using it.